In this video, we will briefly introduce the Spherical Foot Placement Estimator, or SFPE, and show some examples of its application to humanoid balance control and recovery. The SFPE uses a biped's current kinematics and dynamics to predict if a step is needed, and if so, where to step, to restore balance in 3D. By combining and extending the benefits of existing impact-based 3D balance point estimators, the SFPE can provide recovery step location prediction and momentum objectives with smooth dynamics. After choosing an initial anchor point, if the initial energy of the model is less than its peak potential energy, conservation of energy is used to predict where the center of mass will come to rest. The ground projection of this predicted center of mass location is then chosen as the SFPE balance point and used as the assumed final anchor point. To simulate a disturbance such as a push, we have initialized the robot with a pelvis velocity of 42 centimeters per second and applied an SFPE feedback loop to generate linear momentum control inputs for a whole body controller. As you can see, the robot is able to compensate for the disturbance using linear momentum alone. If the initial energy is higher than the peak potential energy, a step is required to reduce the post-impact energy to equal the peak potential energy. For this scenario, conservation of energy is used between impacts while conservation of angular momentum about the anchor point is used at impact. The location at which the model needs to place its swinging point foot to achieve the desired energy level after impact is chosen as the SFPE balance point. In this video, we've used a higher initial pelvis velocity of 43 centimeters per second. Although the controller is not able to compensate using linear momentum alone, the balance point generated by the SFPE provides a method for recovery via stepping. To show the performance of the SFPE-based controller for a variety of conditions, we've generated initial disturbances in several directions and magnitudes. The inclusion of the SFPE in the control loop enables leaning and stepping approaches to balance, with only minor changes to the controller. The control inputs generated using the SFPE feedback loop also have continuous dynamics, unlike many other balance point methods. Even at high initial velocities in a diagonal direction, the SFPE enables balance recovery. The dynamic step location predictor is able to generate stepping locations in any direction. If you have any questions or comments about the SFPE, please feel free to join me at the poster location listed below or email me at the address on the screen. Thanks for watching.